promise you I'll change your mind Just let me free you Keep this between me and you so what's up y'all i'm back with another video and today we're going shopping and this is my friend Hi. and we're right now i'm headed to Santia's because i'm thinking about getting I'm a up piercing i'm gonna do some on my lip i'm really nervous and i'm looking very broken out right now but that's okay <laughs> look at this rib check the it drip. out her drip like a faucet rip like a faucet period so so no It's in, girl. It's in. I'm crying. <laughs> Hey y'all, we just got to Buffalo Exchange and you know, I already found some items. I'm getting excited. So I will check in with y'all when I um, go in the dressing room. Okay, so hey y'all, I'm in the dressing room right now and I'm about to try on all this stuff. So I got some cute stuff like retro, you know, bright is really my thing. And I have more stuff outside. So like, I'm really hoping like none of this stuff like, fits and stuff like i'm excited so yeah so yeah i'm really feeling this jacket right now i'm thinking like gray sweats you know gray sweats to like sneakers socks or like like you know just this, this is a comfy day like i'm cold but i'm comfortable and i'm cute so y'all i'm actually really loving this this is giving me like spring when spring summer vibes you know it's a little big but i kind of like my jackets a little big you know um I have to say this is like also can be like a winter piece because I can layer it. I'm very much a layer person. So yeah, this is like probably like this is definitely going in the nice pile. In the I want pile. Y'all, my Medusa hurts so bad. I can't wait to get a, a small bar. So I have this guest Mel's jacket. Um I would probably wear this like as a dress. Don't mind my pants. I don't like taking them all the way off. Um, and I just put this jacket on just to style it. I probably wouldn't wear it with this jacket necessarily, but just like to style it. And I would probably have like some high, high, um, high socks on and like some sneakers. And yeah, I'm really actually liking it. It's actually <laughs> very comfortable. And like, it gives me like boyfriend vibes. Cause like when I, when I was with my boyfriend, I used to always wear his big stuff. I still do. So like, and I like that feeling. So yeah. This is definitely a good cop. I'm happy to get it. Round number two, guys. Let's see how this goes. So, hey, y'all. Like, I really love, like, how Mickey's just, like, sitting there like, Hey, what's up, y'all? What's up with the game? And I love, love, love this bag. So dope. But I do not like how it's cut, like, at all. Like, uh, this is a hard thing to say no to because like it's like you you want it you want to love it so bad but you just don't have that love for it that you thought you were gonna have when you seen it. So I don't know. This is going. This is not going to no section. This is going in the maybe. Like if I have enough money, this is a gift to myself. You know? I totally hate these jeans. They fit on me like I have a little boy body. Like I do have a little boy body from the bottom, from the bottom down. But like. It doesn't need to like highlight that, you know. Like, but I really love this. Like, this was like why I picked it out. But it's honestly not doing me any justice. So, total cities. I'm trying to make it look cute. My non-existent butt doesn't help. So, so guys, I honestly have so much love for this jacket. But it has so many problems with it. Like, 
First of all, it's loud as fuck. It's crunchy as fuck. Like, imagine me just walking into class with this on hair going, have a gun, have everybody's morning, making hella noise and shit. And then, like, the hood just sticks up, like, 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 it's trying to say hey or something, like, hey, how you doing? Um, and it's just, like, it could be, it could have been so cute. And it's just, like, honestly, not the most comfortable thing, but it's definitely, like, one of those things that you would have in your closet and people would be like, oh, my God, like, you know, like, the standout piece with that one standout piece that you can't wear. So, sadly, this is a firm no. So now it's time to try on shoes, and I'm trying these ones. You know, like, I don't like that, like, if my toes are out, like, it's not any toe room. But I like them. They're still cute. Like, it just reminds me with my feet done, because they're not done. And, like, you know, like, they're cute, but I don't love them, and I have to just let them go, because I don't love them. And honestly, red and red is not really my color. So, yeah. Okay, so dude, these shoes are a motherfucking must. They're like new, never been worn. And I love how it still has this, because I'm gonna wear this when I wear the shoes. And like, I just think that it's so fresh that it's like patches and it's different colors. It's such a vibe. It's giving me like 90 vibes. I love that it's different types of teals, like fall colors, spring colors, Valentine's Day colors. Like, so it's just really buzzed down, buzzed down for us. Like, I think I'm really loving these. In all angles, they're just buzzing. But they are a little big because I'm an eight and these are at eight and a half, so I would have to double sock them, but that's definitely not a problem. So, yeah. Honestly, this would be like a necess unnecessary cop. But like, I really love these. I love, I don't know if I love the fact that they're platform or that they're like this like really baby blue. And like, just somebody with my toes done. I would even wear these with socks. Like, you know, like, like you know that day when you just want to go to school cute as fuck or just go somewhere lazy as fuck be cute as fuck? Like, these are the shoes to definitely do it. Um, the only thing I have to say would be like a kind of body is that like, it's, at, it's like right on my heel like i literally have no space but um yeah if it if that's the only reason like that's it and like how much are these anyways let's see 16 dollars like that if that's not sounding good to someone i don't know what's gonna sound good to someone to anyone you know these are really cute and like the fur is like a really good material you can tell that these have not been worn that many times especially from like the bottom like they haven't they obviously haven't been worn that many times um the fur is still good like there's no missing fur it's not patchy it's not hard like so stuff was spilt on it it's in really good condition so yeah so right now we're in walgreens cbs or whatever and they don't have rose hip oil duh <gasps> this looks like a bacardi bottle it does look like a bacardi <laughs> what bottle. the fuck Bruh, they don't have anything I need, like... <sighs> Did you, are you getting that one? But let me, yeah, I'm gonna get this. Yeah, that one's fine. What's up, y'all? So, I'm finishing, I'm finna do the haul for y'all because I actually forgot and it's been a couple days since, you know, the day I went out and went vintage shopping and stuff, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So, the first thing I got was, is this piece right here. And I shopped at Mars on Telegraph in Berkeley. And I got this teddy bear jacket. It's called a teddy bear slash cow jacket. And it's very fuzzy. And it's irreversible. So it has the pockets on the inside too. Because you can flip it inside out and just wear it white. Or you can wear the cow. I prefer the cow um, print because it's hella cute. And it's just hella different. Um, it was $29.50. Two nine fifty, and um, it's an extra large, and it comes from Sweet Rain, a brand called Sweet Rain. Um, yeah, it doesn't say the original price, but yeah, I'm gonna try it on for you guys. Hold on.
So basically, when I wear these, I just feel like a bad bitch. Like, you know, I just feel like that one. Like, it's really big. That's why I like it. It's super warm. Um, and I like the hood also, too. Like, I would, like, wear this, like, when it's cold. I would wear this when, if it was, like, hot and I was just wearing, like, a dress. You know, just to chill and to give bad bitch vibes, you know. Let's see how it looks reversed. It's white. Because it's going to be so cool because the cow print is going to be inside. So, I think that's going to be really dope as well. So, let's see. Let's try it on. Try it on. So this is it reverse. Oh, I kind of like this better, just cause like it's like a peekaboo for the for the cow. It's really it's like peekaboo. It's like, ah. but then it's like all white. So yeah, and like how I'm dressed right now does not help it look any like make it look super cute. But it's cute. <laughs> so yeah, and actually like what's funny is that like. When I had first went up to the to the register, here's a little story time. When I first went up to the register, I had hella pieces. I had jewelry, glasses, purses, pants, jackets, shoes. And I went up there, and I only gave myself a hundred dollar limit, right? But I went there, she was like, she rang me all up, and it was she was like, okay, two hundred and seventy five dollars. Excuse me, what? Two hundred seventy five dollars? Where? Who? Who's paying that? Sugar Daddy where? Sugar Daddy, I'm looking for you. Boyfriend where? Like, come on now. Like, no. I was like, I'm not wearing that. I'm not, I'm not going to buy that. So, actually, the next jacket I'm going to show you, I was, like, picking between these two. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I was waiting with my friend, um, Jerome. And I was just trying the jackets on back to back for, like, 20 to almost 30 minutes. Trying to figure out what I'm going to give up to like you know to basically make the price go down but i gave up all the jewelry the purses and the shoes and i just kept the jackets both of them and everything else because i'm a jacket whore because i feel like you could wear the same pants every day but if you have a new jacket it's gonna make it a new outfit you feel me okay i love this so much i fell in love with this jacket when i put the trait on in the in the um in the dress room, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely getting this. And, like, what was so funny was, like, when I was, like, picking between the, the teddy bear jacket and this jacket, I was, like, Jerome, and I was talking to the cash girl woman, too. I was like, if y'all would still look at me, what jacket would I get? Or would I have got? That was They both said this one. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to get this one. But I love this jacket because, first of all, these colors, hella dope, like, lavender and, like, purple and, like, soy course, and then sometimes it looks kind of look greenish. And I love the yellow stitch <laughs> stitching the side. It comes from Ashley Sunshine Collection by 26 International. Um, it's $32.50. This is the most expensive thing I got out of everything I got. Um, the color is called Mermaid. And this one doesn't have the original price on it either. But yeah, I'm going to try it on for you guys. And I actually love the detail that it's like a scrunchie arm. I think that adds detail to it. So, we're going to try it on. This is what it looks like in the vents. And one of my favorite parts about this is that the ribbons. And that on the ribbons, like, they have the metal on it. The metal's kind of like, it's like bronze, like a, like the color of a penny. And this is how it looks when it is zipped up. And then I love how you can like tie it, like say if I wanted it to kind of be like a, a half top, I can kind of like draw it like this and put a bow tie like that and I can have it like this <laughs> and I can even pull it up more because I have a really small waist I can just pull it up to my titties and wear it like this like <laughs> this is my shirt but you know you get it 
This is really cute. I would wear this on like a date or something or like, you know, out with friends or whatever. So, yeah. It's a jacket from Pretty Little Thing. I told you y'all, it's going to be mostly all jackets. So it comes from Pretty Little Thing. It's a medium and it's $26. And basically it's like, I, cause my thing is I love bright colors. So this is different for me because yes, it's all color, but it's all like pastel colors. And this lavender reminds me of my um, good friend. She's like a sister to me. Um, her name is Layla, the lavender. Really reminds me of her. So, yeah, every time I wear it, I think of her. This is how it looks on. So, I'll wear it with, like, sweats and some sneakers. Preferably, like, um, white Air Forces or, like, um, Adidas shell, white shell toes. I really love the mint, the mint green. That's one of my favorite colors in this whole thing. Um, this is how it looks when it's zipped up all the way. I would wear it with gray sweats, socks, you know, just a chill day. Probably like go spend a night at a boyfriend's house or like a drive-in movie date or whatever. This is one of my favorites. Like when I put this on, I just felt like a bad bitch. Like, bad bitch. Super and it kind of gives me that vintage feel that I love. So, yeah, this is definitely one for the keys. Hose, bitch. Hose. Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay. And this jacket I got. So, I look. I was stopped at the same place the whole time. Like, I know. I was being a dumb bitch. I didn't go to nowhere else. But this is what else I found. It's a bubblegum bubble gum cropped jean jacket with a sweatpants material gray hoodie. And the hoodie is can be detached or whatever. And some details that I really like about it is that it has the, um, like, the scrunchy thing on, on, like, you know, like, where it grips onto your waist. And I really like that it's just really denim, like it's real denim. It has pockets, and the, um, the jewelry on it is silver. This came from Forever 21. The original price was $34, and the price at Buffalo Exchange was $18, $18.50. So that was a good example of like the difference of the pricing. So this is how it looks. super cute and like i have a really small waist so the fact that it's like gripping my waist like that's what i love like i really love this it's super cute it's super flirty i'll wear this one like you know going out with the girls again like you know maybe like a movie day or something i'll definitely wear this with like sweats that had a nice fit on my waist I can see myself wearing this with a jean skirt too. Even like a dress, like a bodycon dress. And like wearing it like this. I can either wear it like this with a like here, let me let me show you. Ugh. Bitch, like this. Let's say I didn't have no shirt on. Okay, so sorry y'all. I had to switch to my iPad because my phone kept deleting videos. But basically, this is how I would wear this jacket if I was wearing it like with jeans or whatever. You know, y'all got the y'all got the vision like, like it's such a cute like cute flirty fit. Like I would have to wear it like this, like. It's so sexy. Okay, so be proud of me, guys, because I did get one pair of pants, and they're reflective. I don't think you can tell that they're reflective right now, but they also have the bunch at the end, and they have this cute little, like, clear strap on the side, and it's, like, that elastic on the waist to make sure they wouldn't squeeze the, squeeze the waist nice. I would wear this, but actually, the jacket that I just showed you guys, because it's super cute, together so let me show you one
See how these pants look? <laughs> but these pants are really cute. They do make hella noise, but they're very cute to me. So, you know, gotta move it over there. Hey, you make it clap. Hey, you feel me? Hey, you feel me? Clap. Okay. <laughs> but obviously, I'm feeling myself in these jeans. And these pants. Because, you know, they look cute. That made me look like I have a butt, which I don't. That make my non-existent butt look like I have butt. So that's always a plus. Uh -huh. So, yeah. I got these. There's some different. Because I don't wear pants or jeans. So, I don't wear jeans. I only wear pants or leggings. So, yeah, these are super cute. They kind of give me, like, a space fit vibes. Because, you know, they're reflective or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Guys, I did get a dress. And these pants are $16. I forgot to show, tell you guys. $16.50. I got a dress. I'm going to keep these on so I change like to my foot. But I got this dress. It's an Asian inspired dress. And it has slits on the side. And it's bubblegum pink. Um, and it has clips on the side. I love Asian um, inspired stuff, so cute. I'm pretty sure my wedding dress will be Asian inspired. Um, it has what has shoulder pads inside to give you more of that sexy shoulder look. So I'm gonna show them, try it out for you guys. Guys, and it clips. Okay, so don't make fun of me, okay? Cause I don't have no body. So like I have to get like stitched in to fit my waist. But like basically like this is how the dress looks it's really cute and i love the slits on the side because it can become sexy you know like okay sorry yeah it's super cute i just have to gain some weight to like fill it in like my waist is small or i'm either just gonna have to like re like stitch it myself take the hem take the hems out and just re stitch it myself so it can fit my physique better because I'm really a small. But this is super cute, guys. Like, I would have to go on a date with this dress. Like, this is that type of dress. Like, but who knows? The next time I'll be on a date. It's super cute, right? I know. I would wear long hair with this. So it can go down my back and I feel like a sexy ass girl. But yeah. On to the next. I'm showing you guys this jacket that I um, recently got at a different type of vintage store. And I'm going to show you this jacket off because it's really dope. Um, and I just want you to really check out the detail. Like, the detail on the back is freaking ridiculous. And the bottom of it is, like, super nice. The material is super nice. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell. This is A1 material. It's very heavy. It's not a lightweight jacket. It's a heavy jacket. It has shoulder pads. And it has these things on it that I think that are really dope. It's from a company called One Buckle on the side. And this part is like cardboard so it can't fold. Check out the freaking detail, bro. This detail is like serious. Like, come on now. Nobody's playing with this. And then this part, and I think the horses on the side is really dope. I'm going to try it on for you guys. Like, bro, are you kidding me? Like, look at this fit. Look at this fit, dude. This is so freaking dope. Like, like nobody's fucking with me when I put this jacket on. Like, and I'm saying that on me. Like, and it clips at the neck. So it'll be like this. Like, I look like a soldier. Like, this is such a fly I jacket. Like, I can't just wear this out anywhere. Like, I have to be going somewhere that's, like, the highest of the highest people that can dress the best. Like, like and it's not that sort of dress where you can do that. But, like, you know, you can, I would wear this with, like, some high-waisted pants. I fit really good on the butt and the hips. Especially because I have neither one butt or hips. And, Yeah. Super duper cute, y'all. This is so fly. 
and this was eighty dollars. Like people, what people think is that like all vintage clothes is very cheap. Majority of them is cheap, but if you want really good quality and something that was very, 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 very expensive back in the day, you're not gonna get it for like twenty dollars. Like you feel me? Like you're gonna you're gonna pay some money, but it's so freaking worth it, dude. Like everywhere I went when I had this jacket on, people are stopping me everywhere all different types of races and ages and everything like it caught everybody's eye so when you get an eye catcher you got oh really